Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Amani. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, some fantastic news. I have some shoots coming up and I'm looking forward to sharing some more on my Instagram. So please continue to support the tribe over there as well. I can be found at Sunday Omni. In this video, I wanted to give you guys an update regarding talk show host Wendy Williams' brother, Tommy Williams. And he is basically doing interviews right now and I must say, I like this brother a lot. I've told you guys that in other videos, but he is so different than Wendy. Very open. And I must say, a really humble man as well. He was asked in an interview that he just did recently about Wendy Williams forgetting when her mother, um, Miss Shirley, passed. And he referred to it as the many, many weeks comment. And he said that Wendy just has her own... Um, way of dealing with things and he had no idea because he's not really in the industry that Wendy had planned to you know communicate their mother's passing in such a way and that he just wanted to be transparent on his channel because he found other people were actually talking to him because they had Rona and he had Rona and he overcame that with his wife and so because people were being open about also their family members passing away and he was on a live chat um, on his YouTube channel, he also felt like he had to be open and honest as well. Why should he hold back when other people are being so vulnerable, sharing their stories of pain and loss? So he wanted to just tell his truth and share what was happening really in his life and mentioning that his mother um, had passed on Sunday, November 29th, 2020, whereas his sister he had no idea that she was going to say it was many, many weeks ago. But again, he said that he's thankful that Wendy listened to him to take time off work because he says that her work ethic is, you know, pretty interesting. Um, she doesn't know how to always take a break, but he really believes in mental health and his own value. And I thought that was really nice, too. He also shared some funny family stories as well about his relationship with his father, his mother, how she collects hats. And now he um, collected the hats that she had. And also he's swimming and she used to wear like five pound weights when she swims. And now he wears it around his ankles, too, when he swims. And I thought that was such a cute story and then he was talking about giving his dad haircuts and how he now looks at his father as not only just his friend but like his like university pal or college pal and now it's just like interesting that he's the one giving his dad haircuts when his dad used to give him haircuts until he was like 18 years old or something and now he's bald um but it was just nice to see him be so transparent and he also mentioned that he realized that his life's purpose is helping people and this is something that he really enjoys doing and he mentioned that he does plan obviously to get into the industry um he's a little different than wendy which i really appreciate but that's okay every sibling is different he was also defending you know that wendy williams goes through a lot as well and um i agree with that and he said that also at times guys there's so much that he said this interview was like 35 minutes there's so much he said and one thing he did say was that sometimes people would come up to him and say that they can't stand wendy and we're you know you know if you're related to Wendy Williams, you might need security, right? Because sometimes Wendy does piss off people and you know, you see her walking around with a bunch of security herself. But, you know, imagine being her brother or her sister too, right? And so then she, he would just, you know, for a while he was always defending her um, and just saying she's just a uh, shock jock and she just says whatever just to get a reaction or whatever and that's the industry that she's in and after a while it didn't bother him but in the early days it kind of did but not anymore not anymore um, he appreciates what she does and he's starting to understand the industry a lot more because he's also getting into it as well and he's represented by a company called Lux as well he mentioned and another funny family story well actually it wasn't really funny it was pretty disgusting um, it was in regards to to him sharing that Wendy Williams used to fart and put her farts inside bottles, like Coke bottles. Yeah, guys, um, that was just, brother Tommy is just too much, you know? 
<laughs> he is just too much. So he shared that. Um, yeah, like they would do that as pranks and then they would keep it inside the closet. Um, and they did mention a store that I actually like as well. It was really fun when I was a teenager. I used to go to Spencer's all the time. But yeah, he was just sharing. <laughs> he was sharing the most but i really appreciate that right anyways thank you so much for watching and thank you for listening to um my story in regards to this um i think that it's just nice to get updates in regards to this and i have to help like thank you guys actually for helping me giving me video ideas and also um yeah to Tommy as well for also sharing, right? Because Wendy's not always so transparent. So it's really nice to hear him share stories. So I'm able to share it with you guys and give you guys an update as well. Be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Sunday Omni. Happy holidays to all of you. Thank you for being part of my tribe. Until next time. Cheers.